Hello everyone, I'm Alex and welcome back to another episode of the Internet Sensation Podcast. Hopefully you guys um, are new, and if you aren't, welcome back, uh, it's great to see you too. Uh, that kind of rhymes, I hate that, I hate intros that rhyme like that. Um, they suck and they're corny. Uh, today we're doing the podcast by myself, uh, which is, uh, to be honest, going to be kind of normal uh, programming, uh, normal schedule programming. I've had a busy week this week, um, and I'm trying to keep it to, you know, every week schedule, uh, depending on like what's going on. You know, that's the goal, at least one episode every week. Uh, might be a couple days in and out, but um, I'm currently aiming for like uh, every kind of like uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, it is uh, Thursday. Uh, as of recording this, but hey, you can't win them all. Um, but there's so much stuff to talk about on this week's podcast. Stuff that I... I'm concerned for the internet. I mean, I'm always concerned for the internet, but this is like a new level of weirdness. There's so much stuff going on today that is like just... Uh, I lose hope in humanity. Um, and we'll start off with the first one. I don't really know what to say about this. Uh, I really don't. Um... Island Boy's fly soldier comes out as gay after making incest content with brother. Now, it starts off with, you know, oh, good on him. And then it very quickly becomes not so good on him. Um, I, 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 you know, I, I, for, I, I got like a wave of, of worry then. I was like, oh, maybe that's controversial to say you don't like um, incest. Because I've been on the internet too long, and uh, I feel like people are going to be like, uh, "Support him in coming out in his sexuality. Uh, he's uh, he's having sex with his brother. Um, that is weird." Uh, Fly soldier of the Island Boys fame has come out as gay just weeks after sparking backlash for kissing his brother while creating content for the Pairs Only Fans account. Now, there's a big thing about you know if you're if you're a a brother, right? You know, there's a big line between is it just a normal kiss or a gay kiss? Arguably the, ma the most massive line. The most massive line ever on the planet. Uh, I don't want to see this. Is there a video? I, uh, it sounds like I'm curious. I'm not. I'm not interested in this. I don't, I don't want anything to do with this at all. And I don't want to see the video, but I feel like for the, for the podcast, I need the context, don't I? I don't. It's incest. It's bad. I don't need to see it. Uh, the track, coupled with the sibling's unique sense of style, sparked both backlash and curiosity across social media. And seeing the twins had carved out a niche for themselves, I guess this all comes from their uh, debut song. Um, I didn't realize that they uh, actually like made music, because honestly, I don't pay attention to these guys. What is this? Is this this has twenty three million views? Why? Why are you so mad? I hate music videos with pointless intros. Your song is are not interesting enough. Can we just hear it? So you're telling me these two guys um, who, who have a secret handshake were incest? I never would have guessed. Um, it's no surprise, really. They're very strange. I find any twin relationship to be concerning. Is that just me? Twins are some of the weirdest people I've ever met. They do stuff in sync. They dress like each other. It's like, don't you want to be more apart? No, apparently not. They love the fact they're twins. It's fucking odd. Very strange. Um, uh, and they did a lot of podcasts for some reason. I don't know why they did so many podcasts. It's uh, it's very odd. Um, but yeah, they, he came out as gay, uh, Fly Soldier. Now, if you told me between these two, which one's Fly Soldier, I wouldn't be able to um, tell you. Uh, I wouldn't be able to tell you at all. Look at them. It's the same person. It's the same person. Um so apparently in June 2023, the Island Boys outraged social media after the netizens, is that the name for people on the internet, shut up, noticed they'd uploaded a photo of themselves nearly locking lips. I'm not, why am I clicking on this? Accused of incest baiting. Ugh, almost should I. Is this tweet going to be deleted? No, it's with a link to the OnlyFans. Okay. 
Um, I'm deeply disturbed. What are the people in the comments saying? Uh, the reply was hidden by the author. That's good. Oh, it was some woman promoting her OnlyFans. Cool. Oh, God. Okay, that can't stay in the video. I just accidentally clicked on something that I can't. That was a. That was fair. That was grim. Um, what the fuck? Many viewers were immediately disgusted, labeling the content as incest. However, Island Boy member Fly Soldier, we love him, denied these claims. That's good. Saying in a statement to TMZ, why is he being interviewed by TMZ? We're both straight males and kissing is not counted as a sexual act. Okay. Hang on, but he said he was gay. However, mere weeks later, Fly Soldier came out as gay. Well, does that make it gay now? The artist clarified his sexuality in a TikTok live stream. I'm a top, I'm never a bottom, he said, in a viral clip from the broadcast. I'm never a bottom, I'm a top, you know what I'm saying. I'm like that for real. The fact that he's saying it all over, like saying it over and over again, makes me think that maybe that's not true. Well, I'm glad that, you know, I, we've got the video here. How lucky are we? This is, this is exactly what I wanted to do with my Thursday, by the way. It was this. And I'm a top. I'm not a, I'm never a bottom. I'm a top. You know what I'm saying? I'm like that. For real. You got to support me because you feel me. I like men. And that's just, it is what it is. Wait, does that, that must make the, that makes the kiss now incest. Which it wasn't before, but now it is. Because if you're two straight men and you're perverse and you kiss, that's not incest. But if you're two straight and a gay man or gay, gay. Um, double gay gay action then that is incest so hey at least now right we, we've got the rules down i was i didn't feel like i knew before whereas now guys i'm confident in saying that it's incest now uh i love the fact that internet just like generates these random personalities uh once in a blue moon um you know to look at I love that. I love that I I get to see these people who who I normally would have no idea who they are, and now they are bestowed upon me um, in such wonderful ways. Like I don't think I've ever really watched anything from the uh, Island Boys. I remember they did an uh, interview with Logan Paul. Uh, I think they like got up and said they were going to leave. Um, Any time I've ever seen them, I just want to click off because I I just look at them and I don't like them. And some people might go, "Oh, that's judgmental." Welcome to the podcast. That's what we do here. Oh, by the way, I should mention some stuff. We're available on Spotify. Uh, I'm trying to get it on Apple Podcasts, but um, it's proving considerably harder than I thought it would be, which is weird, uh, trying to sort out like getting all these episodes out on other stuff because I try and upload the video on Spotify as well. So if you want to listen on there, if that's your preferred platform, you can go ahead and do so. Um, it's linked in the description below, by the way. Uh, and I'm going to start putting like QR codes up on screen. Um, good, I've given myself a task to do now, but I, I'll try my best. But um, yeah, I'm trying to get the podcast up on Apple as well, so people can also listen to it on there. But uh, it's hard to do it without making two separate feeds, um, which is annoying. Uh, but maybe that's just what I have to do. Boring podcast talk. Nobody cares about this. Sorry. Um, but yeah. That's one of the things I want to do. Also, I want to start doing some live episodes on here um, from the studio. That's definitely something I'm going to start doing. Uh, go live, do the live podcast, sit here, chat shit about stuff like, I don't know, hour and a half. Um, I think it'll be fun. Uh, so maybe we'll do one of those next week. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments below uh, and we'll go from there. Um, all right, moving on uh, to randomly generated influencers that exist for some reason uh, that I absolutely can't bear. Um, viral NPC TikToker Pinky Doll teased her new single ice cream so good um hollywood uh i hope you burn i hope you burn down in california with your horrific wildfires i hope i hope california is swallowed by flame uh because it is hell it truly is the hell hole that it will eventually turn into um tiktoker and only fan star pinky doll started the viral trend of npc live streams but it's now revealing a new venture into the music industry teasing her first single Pinky Doll has released a short snippet of the song uh, based on her most famous catchphrase. Catchphrase. She's not a fucking Marvel character. Ice cream, so good. Um, can I hear this song? I don't want to, really. Uh, this is, I'm so going to make a video on this, and we'll definitely talk about this on the podcast. Um, Fida Sinon, who goes by Pinky Doll Online, uh, took the world by storm. <laughs> yeah, everyone was like, oh, yes, this is so great. After starting the bizarre trend of NPC live streams. 
acting like a non-player character from a video game. She repeats catchphrases and returns for gifts. Yep, make that money, queen, as uh, idiots would say. But Pinky Doll has had her eyes set on new opportunities. Yes, of course she has, because fucking get her off doing that shit. I'm sure she absolutely despises it. I know it's made her a lot of money, and it's made her famous, but... I'd want to, like, blow my brains out. Sorry, is that too dark? I fucking mean it. Um, I don't wish that on anybody. I don't wish TikTok Live is a job on any human being. I really don't. Your girl, Pinky Doll, is working on a big project. The content creator teased. Content creator. These terms become more loose every day, don't they? Now fans have their first insight fans uh, into what to expect for a new single announced. By the way, I am a hater. I don't care what you say. I fucking am. I, I fucking am, baby. Um, I actually want to pull up both her videos because, like, she got like in trouble for scabbing. Um, because um, she uh, uh what she made some post. Uh, oh, here it is. It's this. Yo, yo, you're never gonna believe that. Guess who is going to Hollywood, baby? To Hollywood. Yes, it should go right here. It should go right here. Yo, yo, I'm going to Hollywood, baby. That should about to be popping because when I come in here, I'm gonna take somebody's pot. Huh, yo. <laughs> yeah, it's the um. I'm going to take somebody's spot thing. People uh, accused her of scabbing, which is currently a big thing that's going on in Hollywood. Um, uh, people are basically uh, trying to get writers higher pay um, and also uh, like more rights for actors with streaming platforms. Um, and she said she's going to Hollywood. I'm going to take somebody's spot. Uh, now, I'm going to uh, be honest with you guys. I don't think she's got the intelligence to understand what scabbing is, nor does she even know that there's a strike going on in Hollywood. I think uh, a lot of people who were going, I can't believe she'd scab. You guys got too much faith in the intelligence of uh, human beings. She doesn't have a fucking clue what that means. She doesn't know what's going on. Um, I think she more meant like, oh, I'm going to, you know, take the spot, like, you know, competitively. Like, I'm going to get in there, man. I'm going to become part of Hollywood. By the way, becoming part of Hollywood um, is not a good idea. I don't know if you read any of the stories about that place, but it drives everybody mental. Um... Uh, but they love people with their talent like this. Uh, I, I'm so mean. I don't care. Because they can use them easier because they're more willing to do whatever the fuck they need to do for you know, to make money. But they'll release a couple of songs and if it does well, then they'll keep on pumping money into it. And if it doesn't, they'll pretend they never even did it. So, good luck with that. I'm going to take your spot so you better secure your spot because I'm coming for it. I'm coming to it. I'm going to go... Ah, ah. I want to take my arm, me, pinky doll arm, me. Where you at? If you're here, manifest yourself. Woo! We're about to get it, baby. Uh, and then, um, you know how she did, like, the Illuminati sign? People think that she's a part of the Illuminati because they're stupid. Um, fuck it out. Goddamn. The hand sign at the end. Lord have mercy. TikTok comments are pathetic. Um... Well, uh, she's now part of Hollywood now, so good luck to her in that venture. It's not going to last very long. Um, I'm such a hater. Uh, where's the teaser? Is it here? Yes, yes, yes. Ice cream so good. Thank you, doll. Yes, yes, yes. Fashion Nova. Ice cream so good. Yes, yes. Presented by Fashion Nova. Wait, so it's like a brand deal song? Oh, my God. It's a branded song. That is fucking grim. That is mental. But um, apparently, she's also now been exposed on Twitter, um, which is another thing. I can't. I'm learning about all of this right now. This is all of the Google Doc. I don't have a clue what's going on. Um, this is her. This is her video. Uh, what, what is this? I don't understand, guys. This is so ridiculous. How dare you gonna expose me everywhere? The Twitter is full of it. There's a thousand, a thousand, a thousand of tweets. A thousand of my pinky dog got exposed. What is that? I think this is because she's actually older than she says she is. Like she, she baits on the internet that she's like considerably younger than she actually is. Um, and. Uh, number one, that's weird. 
it is weird to go on the internet and lie about how old you are. Um, I've run into people who've done it before, and uh, I'm never can fuck with them ever again. I'm like, that's fucking odd. Um, but like, when you're like an OnlyFans and you're like lowering your age on purpose to get people to pay for it, it says a lot, I think, about the audience that you're trying to attract, which is uh, strange. <laughs> I don't know what any of this means, but I'm telling you, she's not crying. Um, which means she's very clever at getting people to give her attention, because this has like nearly 5,000 comments. So honestly, good on her. It seems like she's playing the part very well of a social media influencer. Like She's managed to get me talking about her, and it's been like a while since uh, she started to become relatively relevant. So, you know, um, good luck uh, to her. On that, um, there's there's more videos about this expose. I didn't I, I understand a word she just said, but maybe if we keep on going, we'll figure it out. I had to go breathe for two minutes because I was too much in my feelings, and I still in my feelings because now my family is sending me posts about everything is going on out here about the leaks because you can even find it on TikTok. They put it on TikTok. They probably like put something in the front of the picture so you cannot see everything. I'm in a car and doing stuff. And they tell you, go to Twitter, it get crazier. And when you go to Twitter, I'm not even kidding, guys. There's a million, a million tweets on me about Pinky Dog got exposed, lick. A million, a million. The thing is, she's got an OnlyFans, so I have a feeling that this is promotion for that. Um, she's been like, oh, don't go look for it. But, you know, she wants you to go look for it. Um, but I'm telling you now. Uh, the Streisand effect is a very real thing. If you say, don't go look for this, people go looking. Um, that is just what people will do. So uh, if you don't want people to go look for it, don't mention it. Don't make... Um, so I went to Google. Multiple videos on Google. What did she say? So I went to Google. I went. She went to what? So I went to Google. I went she went to Google. Sounds like a nice place. To Google, I put Pinky Doll naked and I click on pictures. And what I see, what I see, there's a lot of page. There's a lot of page. You keep swiping and swiping and swiping. It don't stop. It don't stop. And I see all this website. How dare you? You don't let other people put my face, my body out here doing stuff like that. How dare you? We start asking an ID. Where's the ID terms? Tell me that. What's up? I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you something today. I'm going to sue all of you. All of you are going to sue you. I'm going to sue you. Y'all want to play with me? You allow the people post Pinky Doll? Really? Because you know you're about to get paid? Well, guess what? I'm about to get all that money. All that money. Um. Uh, okay. Um. Well. I think if you want people to stop telling people to go on Google uh, or, or Google to look at these images, it's probably a bad idea. Uh, but if people are leaking them, that kind of sucks. But it seems like, uh, you know, she posted it and now um, she's promoting it, which is uh, fascinating. I mean, uh, if this is the grind, good luck to you. Maybe you should just go back to doing the NPC stuff. Maybe it will be, maybe it's karma. Maybe it's more peaceful. Maybe it's. Um, a more relaxing thing to be doing. I don't know. It looks absolutely painful. It looks like real genuine work. Like, I wouldn't want to do it. But, um, hey, each to their own, man. I mean, good luck to her with it. If that's her grind. That's what she's doing. Good luck. I hope it goes well for her, to be honest. I hope it does. Um, she's got my support. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> bloody hell oh man well the next thing that we got up on this list uh which is just a wild story is uh lizzo denies sexual harassment allegations leveled by former dancers singer calls claims of harassment and a hostile work environment sensationalized stories now this is all about apparently uh, lizzo um would complain about the weight of her backup dancers and 
You know, that's a horrible thing to do, Lizzo. Um, it, it's uh, it is a horrible thing to do. There's uh, there's nothing else to say about that. It's it's just uh, bad because uh, well, a lawsuit has been filed by three of the singers um, who alleged that she like harassed them and created a hostile work environment uh, through sexual, racial, and religious harassment in various incidents. That's uh, wild. Um. And Lizzo's made a statement now. Uh, uh, we'll read it. Uh, it's it's long. Um, the last few days have been gut-wrenchingly difficult and overwhelmingly disappointing. My work ethic, morals, and respectfulness have been questioned. My character has been criticized. You see, I choose not to respond to false allegations, but these are as unbelievable as they sound and too outrageous to not be addressed. These sensationalized stories are coming from former employees who have already publicly admitted that they were told their behavior and tools was inappropriate and unprofessional. As an artist, I've always been very passionate about what I do. I take my music and performance seriously. Da, 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 who cares? Um, with passion comes hard work and high standards. Don't give a fuck. It's just boring PR shit. I'm not here to be looked at as a victim. But I also know that I'm not the villain that people in the video have portrayed me to be the last few days. I'm very open on my sexuality and expressing myself, but I cannot accept or allow people to use that openness to make me out to be something I am not. Um, and then she said, I know what it feels like to be body shown on a daily basis. I would absolutely never criticize or terminate an employee because of their weight. Yeah, that would be mental. I'm hurt, but I will not let the good work I've done in this world be overshadowed by this. I want to thank everyone who's reached out and support to lift me up during this difficult time. Um, and then there's some uh, fascinating replies. Uh, this one was interesting. Stop with the lies. My fat daughter looked up to you. <laughs> I thought you were real. You crushed her heart with your selfishness and bully behavior. Sorry. What has he said here? My fat daughter. Just say your daughter, man. That is... Unnecessary. When I visit her next time, I will have a new plus-size artist to stand. BB Rexa. Okay, this account is definitely... There's no way this is real. But it's funny. Okay. But the situation is fucking awful if it is apparently true. Um, I mean, I'm trying to see if I can find some actual stories here uh, about like what she's actually been accused of so I can kind of um, uh, actually explain. Um, in one particular troubling passage, the suit describes a night at a club called Bannon and Bear Bar, Bannon and Bar, where patrons are allowed to interact with completely new performers. While at that club, things got quickly at hand. Lizzo began inviting cast members to take turns touching the performers. Oh, uh, the rest of the comments on this are just insane. Is this what famous people do? Is this what weird famous people do? Like, I don't, I don't even know if I can read any of that out. I don't even think I could show this on the podcast. Um. Uh, catching objects launched from the performers' areas and eating bananas protruding from places. If this is a real... This is in the lawsuit. I mean, if you're getting up to behaviour like that, you must expect, surely, that at some point everything's going to come, like, crashing down on you. I've never understood this when celebrities are off doing their weird shit. Like, you're world famous. Somebody's going to leak the story for money. Pictures, videos taken. You know, any club where you've got to go in and they like, oh, no videos, no pictures, no phones. Already suspect. I mean, it's, it's not really something that, like, I've heard stories of people I know going on nights out and, like, running into celebrities and stuff and, like, the weird stuff that they've seen. Um... And I don't understand what it is about being a celebrity that makes you do weird stuff. Like, surely you want privacy because you want to be able to do normal stuff. But it seems like a lot of them want privacy because they want to be able to get up to, like, the most fucking freakish shit possible. People are going to say, who are you to judge? And uh, I'll say, um, a human being. It's fucking weird. Uh, it's odd behavior. Like, that sentence I just read is fucking... Why? <laughs> like, why is, why is somebody doing that? In their spare time. It's what it's just a strange thing to do. Um I still can't go over that tweet about the fat daughter. Sorry, my head's in the clouds. I'm in a completely different place. I can only think about that. 
I can only think about somebody referring to their daughter as that and just being, you know, completely perplexed by the whole idea. But, you know, I, I'm, I don't know. It's, it's in the court of law, so I guess we'll find out what is apparently true and what isn't. Um, what a trial that's going to be. I, I will be keeping up to date with that because I... I mean, it's fascinating. It's absolutely fascinating. That is a that is a story where somebody's had to go down and say this is what happened, and they've had to write that down or like make that as a statement. And I, you know, I mean, it's awful if true. Like, if the allegations are all true, then she's a terrible person. But um, yeah, it's weird. A lot of environments like that, especially in music, seems to be very odd. Musicians seem to create a lot of very strange environments for themselves. Um, they're an odd bunch uh, of people, a lot of them. Um, they're, they're all tortured. Um, uh, it is torturing listening to her music, but uh, sorry. It is shit. I don't like it. It's not for me, to be honest. I think, you know, the whole thing, the whole kind of her whole get up is just like uh, very odd now after reading that. I don't know how I feel about any of it. It seems very strange that Lizzo is going around fat shaming people apparently and firing people because they're fat, allegedly. Um, for no reason. I'm just saying it's odd. Uh, well, let's move on to something else. Um, I, I don't want to talk about Lizzo for too long because, in all honesty, I don't really know much about her, and uh, that story seems quite dark and not as funny as it may seem when you read it and you read some of the stuff in there. It seems kind of hilarious, but then the more you read, the more you go, "Ugh, what a what an odd individual." Um. Apparently, she just pressured a lot of people to do a lot of stuff. Um, you know, like touch the performers, um, which is very odd. And then I was brought into a private meeting where I was kind of interrogated about my personal matters and ended up having to share very personal things about myself regarding my weight. Well, that's fucking odd. Um... That's very weird for her to be doing that. Uh, well, I never seen Lizzo perform, so I don't know what goes into one of those performances. But uh, if that's the environment behind the scenes, then not great, really, is it? Um, talking about like environment behind the scenes, uh, Mr. Beast is currently suing Mr. Beast, which is a crazy sentence, but he is. Uh, well, he's not really. Uh, it's just a good title, isn't it? Mr. Beast sues company behind fast food chain over inedible burgers. Now, I could have told you that the Mr. Beast burger was inedible uh, the day they released. I remember eating one of them, and I genuinely felt like I was going to be sick for like eight hours afterwards. Uh, they're fucking dreadful. Um, they taste fucking bad. But he shut them down now, um, which is, you know, a shame that the Mr. Beast burger didn't work out because maybe it could have cured world hunger one day, man. Maybe it could have cured world hunger. Uh, but yeah, he shut down a whole mall, remember, when he launched uh, the restaurant um, in New Jersey. Um, but now he shut the whole thing down because he just thinks it's fucking dreadful, which is uh, kind of funny. Um, it, it's kind of funny. I, I've actually done a video on this on the second channel. I went into more in depth about this. And uh, currently there's like a controversy going on with like Logan Paul, KSI on Prime. So you could go watch that over on the Alex Elmsley channel if you're interested in that. Um, the YouTuber Jimmy Donaldson, more widely known as Mr. Beast, is suing the company behind the fast food chain Mr. Beast Burger restaurant uh, for inedible food. The lawsuit filed on Monday claims the company has irreparably harmed his reputation. Because that's how fucking awful the burgers are, apparently, that they could destroy the reputation of Jimmy Donaldson. Um, obviously, that's not the case. It's like legal jargon. Uh, but I like the idea of it, like of him going, oh, we've got to shut down the burgers, man. It's ruining my life. It's ruining the great work we're putting in on Mr. Beast Philanthropy. Nobody wants our charity anymore because they say our burgers are poison. Um, I mean, the Carl Jacobs grilled cheese is probably responsible for at least 25 deaths across America. Let's be honest, it probably is. That is one of the weirdest fucking pieces of food I've ever seen, by the way. I would love a grilled cheese sandwich to be named after me. That's like the peak boring food. It's not even got ham in it. It's just cheese and bread. I was going to make a joke, but I, I like those guys, so I don't want to, like... I do like them. I like being mean. It's funny. But I, those guys, they're all nice guys. Like, I met Carl. Really nice guy. And I wouldn't want to fucking take the piss out of him. 
<laughs> for no reason, but you know. It's fitting for the Minecraft content. Just bread. Just pieces of bread with nothing really going on in it. Ah, sorry. I fucking hate the Dream SMP. Sorry, let's move on. I'm joking. It's a joke. People are going to go, it's not a joke. And hey, that's up to you. You can infer from this whatever you want to. I don't care. Uh, Donaldson is the biggest individual YouTuber in the world. Uh, and he partnered up with Virtual Dining Concepts to launch Mr. Beast Burger out of Ghost Kitchens. Now, I don't know if you've seen Ghost Kitchens. What they tend to be is if you walk past like your local takeaway, they also deliver for like under various other restaurant names. Um, uh, kind of like the clues in the name. They are like a ghost version of a kitchen, you know. That brand doesn't really exist. There's a brand, you know, behind that that is actually doing all of like the heavy lifting and then the delivery service just like delivers all of the stuff. Uh, under the branded name so they could sell more stuff and they get a portion of the money for making the food. There's 40 locations in the UK, which is mental. There's one near me. Um, and I tried to find it. Well, I remember we tried to find it on the map. Um, and it just led us to like a bunch of shipping containers. Now, I'm not saying it's made there. I think there's an error. But it wouldn't surprise me if it was. There are 1,700 Mr. Beast Burgers in the US. He is, man, he must have been raking it in, man. But apparently there was like people getting raw meat in their burgers. But this is the kind of the issue of any form of delivery service, right? But the Mr. Beast Burger, the quality control was fucking minimal, you know? Uh, Jimmy said, the problem with the Beast Burger is I can't guarantee the quality of the order. And he's not wrong because you'd have to hire somebody. You need you need your own restaurants, and that's why it's expensive. Whereas the ghost kitchen thing, that's the cheap alternative to be able to make this yeah. happen, and it allows him to have nearly you know eighteen hundred restaurants, which is fucking mental. Um, because he doesn't have to build them or like pay for the rent and hire the staff. You know, it's all there for him, and he's just offering people a cut of you know making what they normally make, but just wrapping it in his you know promotional stuff. But in all honesty, huge props to Mr. Beast um, for not just carrying on with this shitty burger restaurant because he easily could have and just made loads of money off it. But I think even he's smart enough to realize that people would be on him if somebody got like food poisoning or, you know, something really bad happened. You know, people would like, they would come for him hard. Because it's got his name on it, which means he would be the person who people see as responsible, even though he has absolutely kind of no involvement in it, more than just putting his name on it. Um, and I respect that, you know, because it shows how smart he is as a businessman that he would get ahead of this. But then also it shows that he's not going to just leave something going because he could. I'm sure there are loads of people who are involved in this who are going, Jimmy, hey, man, at, at, at a meeting. Jimmy, man, don't shut down the Beast Burger. It's okay, man. This is just what the restaurant industry is like. And he's gone, no, I, I'm already minted. I don't need this. And I reckon a lot of people probably tried to stop him from doing this. Maybe they didn't. Maybe I'm just assuming things. But uh, I'd assume some people tried to talk about it. Because, you know, when there's money to be made, people don't like walking away from that. So, you know, that's, uh, that's pretty crazy for him. Um, and I just hope it means that he can carry on doing, like, his Beast philanthropy. Um, and all of his other stuff, you know, because he gives away a lot of his money and it'd be a real shame if, like, this impacted that. But um, it's good on him to, like, be managing the quality control of this restaurant because it's, you know, nobody wants to eat a shitty fucking burger, do they? That's not ideal for anybody. Nobody wants that, man. Nobody wants that. But, uh, you know, when I had my one, I tried, like, three of them and um, they were bad. Oh, they were really bad. Uh, and, and it's not Jimmy's fault, but like the restaurant that like had served them up, they, they were grim. Like even thinking about it is making me ill. Like, I mean, I've got like issues with food anyway. So thinking about food sometimes just makes me ill. So it's not an indictment on Mr. Beast Burger. But I remember the Mr. Beast Burger generally making me feel like genuinely sickly. Like I really didn't enjoy it at all. It was not something that I had fun um, eating. Uh, and I had to for a video on George Mimulus' second channel, George M. And it was just a grim experience, man. It just wasn't something that uh, I, I would want to do again. But um, 
For the last topic I've got on this podcast, uh, it's Alphaba. Uh, and I wanted to talk about this one at the end because it's quite serious. Alphaba had like a weird breakdown recently on TikTok. I've done a full video again on the Alex Hamsley channel. Um, but I want to kind of touch base on a few things here, uh, like kind of in response to like the feedback that I got on that video and some of the comments. Uh, nothing bad. Um, I mean, some people are odd with it, but... Um, you know, for context, I'll, I'll play the video and then we can talk about what's going on. So this is what Alphaba did uh, the other day after she didn't make enough money off gifts. She uh, she did this. I am done. Done with it all. I have gone insane, and it's turned me insane, TikTok. It has ruined me, and it has fucking destroyed me, and I cannot escape it. So that was her reaction to going live with somebody. They got more gifts than her, and then I think she didn't make it as high on the weekly rankings as she wanted to, or if on it at all. I don't really know how it fucking works, because... As much as I look at this stuff all the time, I'm still trying to maintain a shred of humanity um, and sanity uh, by not like diving too deep into the TikTok rabbit hole. But I basically said that at a certain point, I feel like this is going to like cross a really massive line. Um, I'm currently working on a video at the moment where I'm going through like a bunch of the alphabet controversies and kind of just like compiling them into one video. And being like, you know, trying to be like, tell the story of what is going on there um, and explain to people kind of, you know, because I think a lot of people have come in and they don't really know a lot of it. And I didn't know a lot of it. And uh, I basically wanted to make a video. I went through and kind of tried to, you know, figure out what the fuck is this? Why why is it happening? Why is it as big as it is? And what's going on? But one of the comments I keep on getting on these videos is, you know, Alphabet wants to be known as uh, a girl. That's... Uh, the chosen uh, pronouns. And I'm not always great at the pronouns thing. Um, it's hard. Uh, you know, it's not something that I I grew up with. I, I'm trying my best to, you know, uh, get on it. But um, I only know Alphaba as a, as a girl when I met them the first time, you know, because I've met Alphaba. Um, so that's what they tell me to call them. And I don't give a fuck. So I'll just tell, I'll, I'll call them that. And that's what they wanted. You know, in the same way if somebody calls me their name, I'm not going to call them a different name. Like, if they say my name's Nigel, I'm not going to go, all right, Benjamin, because it's pointless. Um, so that's just ingrained in my mind. Uh, but um, a lot of people seem to get really angry at that. Like, I, you know, when you look through the comments on the videos they do on Alphabet, there's always a bunch of people who are like, you should go, like, the next step and start calling her a man. And it's like, it's not necessary to get the point across, really, of anything that's going on in these videos. I, I you know, just a. I'm already mean, guys. Let's face it. I could be quite mean in my videos, and 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 I and I, you know, I, I talk about these people's lives, and I feel like that's enough, right? That's that's annoying and irritating for them enough. I feel like going the extra mile just trying to like make them feel small is unnecessary. I feel like just showcasing their behaviour and going this sucks. That makes them probably feel shitty enough about it, to be honest. Um, I'm not going to stop, by the way. Don't post that shit on the internet if you don't want people talking about it, really. Um, but, you know, it, it's one of those things where when I when I get those comments, I'm just like, yeah, it's not necessary. Like, here's one. Um, it's a him, not a she. I don't even think it deserves a him anymore, just it or creature. Uh, it's just uh, not needed. <laughs> Misgendering someone when you don't like them shows you don't actually have any respect for gender identities. Yeah, that's the main point, I think. Like... I know perfectly good people who want to go by different pronouns and what they were originally assigned to. And um, I wouldn't on purpose go out of my way to misgender them. And just because they're somebody who, you know, I already find them to be fucking irritating. I don't need to go the extra mile. I just thought it was something I wanted to touch on the podcast because I just thought it was very strange. Um because, yeah, you could say how mental it is that she's done all the stuff that she's done, like steal money from charity, you know, siphon money away from gifts, beg for gifts. Her behavior is fucking abhorrent. 
and the videos i've got people making videos about how fucking insane that is and you know recently with like the controversy of her dms being leaked um you know apparently allegedly with like people who are underage like sexually you don't need to go the extra mile you could just say these people fucking suck and that's like totally fine and you know good enough man i don't think people are gonna like get get on anybody's back about that um yeah and i'm not gonna sit here and pretend that i'm like this moral grandstanding person i'm fucking not uh i'm you know i just am me in my videos that's it i'm not trying to be anything i'm just going this is how i feel about it and if people could take it or leave it you know but with that um it's just something i'm not gonna do really because why would i it's just odd that people seem to be so desperate for that but if that's what you're watching the videos for fuck off like the videos are going to be you can watch them for what i want to say about stuff and i know anybody who's watching this I, like it's a minority of people who probably aren't even really fans it's not gonna be any of you guys who are watching this stuff um but yeah i think we could all agree that it's just a bit fucking odd like you could just say that they suck and give evidence <laughs> you don't have to like make stuff up it's fine she's mental like she's an absolute nutcase and a horrible person you don't have to fucking go an extra mile to prove that i don't know man i know it's just weird it's not necessary but um thank you for watching this podcast uh i know it's a short one but as i said my plan is to try and do multiple week um I'm going to be filming uh, some uh, coming up soon with more guests. Um, I'm going to try to get some guests on uh, to talk about like all the stuff going on in the internet. Um, but I also want to say thank you so much for all of the support uh, on the podcast. I'm posting the clips on this channel as well. So, you know, if you don't want to watch the full episodes, or whatever, and it's easier to consume, um, I will try and like clip the stuff up. Um, so there will always be videos on here uh, and you'll always be able to see stuff. So there you go. Um, also, I feel like I should let you guys know, uh, the clothing is very close to being out. If you guys go to the Instagram post uh, over at internetcessation.shop on Instagram and you leave a like on the latest post, I will uh, put the release date out when we hit like 2,000 likes. And if you follow the Instagram and the Twitter account, uh, which I will link in the description, then um, that'd be great. Uh, so you can keep an update and everything on here. I'm really proud of the work that we've been doing on this. Uh, it's honestly the most proud I've ever been about anything that I've ever had the chance to make. Um, we are so far ahead on the drops that we got. We've basically got like a whole year's worth of drops planned out. And each one of them is just like, they're all crazy. Um, and uh, yeah, the first one's going to be out soon of the whole collection. Um, and we've got like the hoodie that I'm wearing now, the Astro Wars hoodie. We've got uh, the socks, the black socks coming out. And then we've got the uh, t-shirt, um, which will also be available. Uh, and I am buzzing. Like I, I really can't wait. Um, and I'm just, like, we're building everything up, like the website stuff, like working on promotional uh, and just like making everything look really fucking cool. And we've poured like a heart and soul into it. So all the support on the drop when it comes out, if you guys want one, obviously, would be really cool i would really appreciate it um and uh, yeah i'm gonna try like get some like stuff going where you know i can like interact with people like via the clothing and like yeah i've got like big plans for it and um it's something i'm really looking forward to working on at the moment I, I feel like i just you know put a bit of a personal thing on the end like uh that's where my heart and head's at at the moment just like working on like building the cool clothing line um you know really like turning it into something that i've envisioned for like you know, a while since we started it. Um, and I'm really proud to see where it's going. It's like evolving a million times over. Uh, I can't wait. Like we just got like all the custom labels and stuff back. Like we are like fully going in and making it like the best clothing line it could possibly be, um, which is really, really cool. So uh, I will catch you guys soon. I just thought I'd add that on at the end. And um, yeah, much love for all the support and everything lately. It's been crazy. Thank you for watching the podcast. It's available on Spotify and maybe Apple at some point if that gets fixed. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.